Hi there, and welcome to the Smart Bee Controller's how-to video series. Today we'll be learning about the main features and some placement suggestions for the Smart Bee Controller's water content sensor module. As always, be aware that these videos are never meant to serve as a replacement for the Getting Started Guide available on our website, so we suggest you download and read it through to help make these videos more useful. The water content sensor module is the perfect device for monitoring the water content of your medium, as well as keeping an eye on the temperature of your root zone. Learning about how much water your plants actually use is the first step to preventing over and under watering, as learning how fast your media dries down will help promote root growth, while developing an irrigation strategy gives your plants the exact amount of water they need. Additionally, your root zone temperature plays a critical role in keeping your garden out of the danger zone for many pests and pathogens that thrive in warmer environments. Before we get into placement options, you'll notice a few features on the water content sensor module that relate to its function and may get your wheels turning on how to place one within your own garden. To start, you'll see like many other Smart Bee controller sensors, our water content sensor module offers the ability to hang the unit from a hook molded directly into the casing, as well as the mounts on the back if the wall is your best placement option. Likewise, you'll see the water content sensor module comes equipped with top-facing solar panels, as well as a connector for the 5-volt power supply that's included with your unit. As you consider how to best place your water content sensor module, simply know that you have the option of placing the unit between your lights and your plant canopy, or near the base of your plants to reach a wider range of test sites. However, the plant canopy will certainly block out adequate lighting for your solar panels to charge your battery so your water content sensor module will need to be continually powered by the included 5-volt power supply. Lastly, the water content sensor module offers a total of six connection ports for your water content sensor probes. Smart Bee Controllers offers an additional five-pack of water content sensor probes to maximize the number of testing sites within your garden. Again, your water content sensor module can be placed either hanging between your lights and your plant canopy, or you can mount it on the wall. Smart Bee Controllers thought ahead by including a wall mounting template with your original packaging to help you get placement right the first time. While the weight of the unit is less than one pound, we always recommend adding drywall anchors to give your placement greater strength. The water content sensor module comes with a single water content sensor probe, which when placed in your plant media, will provide constant feedback on your plant's volumetric water content. Without getting overly technical, the probes work by emitting a small but harmless electrical field into the root zone measuring in layman's terms a form of resistance from the capacitance plates within the probe, or what's known as the dielectric constant. This measures the interference from moisture that can be converted into a numerical value. When inserting your probe, we recommend doing so at the early stages of plant growth to one, monitor your plants from the beginning, and two, to prevent root damage by inserting it at a time before root growth envelops the entire substrate. Keep in mind, your water content sensor probe measures an area approximately two centimeters off of each side so you'll want to insert the probe no closer than two centimeters to the edge of your pot or cube to allow the maximum possible measurement area. As well, for the most accurate readings, you'll want to avoid placing the probes within two centimeters of any metal stakes, and in the case of soils, avoid areas with air gaps, rocks, heavily compacted media, additional thermometers, drip towers, or any other sensor probes. For maximum performance in rock wool, we recommend cutting a slit with a clean, sharp knife the width of the probe, which will allow for greater ease of insertion and use slow and even pressure to minimize any root damage and avoid creating any air pockets in plants that are already flowering. Rest assured, your plants will recover. However, again, to avoid this, placing probes before transplanting from your nursery is always your best option. You can see from the image here that there are nearly as many ways to place your probes as there are types of media. However, placement depth is critical as the temperature sensor is located just above the bottom of the probe's hexagon. Your water content sensor probes come factory calibrated to 100% air and 100% water immersion, so for soil and fiber-based media, you'll need to calibrate between 100% dry and a fully saturated sample. Now that you've gotten familiar with the placement of your water content sensor module, it's equally important to learn how it can play into devising your irrigation strategy within the Smart Bee Controller's app. Plugging your unit into the wall will kickstart the water content sensor module, which will automatically begin searching for the Hive gateway. By logging in, clicking the Permit Join from the Settings drop-down menu, and navigating to the Device Manager, you'll see your water content sensor module listed under Unassigned Devices. This is your opportunity to assign the device to a specific room within your garden, 
as well as change the user facing name for easy identification. Navigating to your irrigation interface, you'll first see the room details page to see the water content sensor module's readings, as well as have the ability to adjust the sliders to the water content at the lowest level you prefer, or what's known as the onset of stress point, as well as the highest level you prefer, otherwise known as the overwater set point. Should your water content fall outside this range, the Smart Bee controller system will send an email notification to give you those precious moments to save your plants from disaster. However, when integrating your irrigation pumps into our Smart Plug or Smart Strip 4, the Smart Bee controller system allows you to remotely water your plants and becomes a watchdog for your networked garden by emailing you notifications that it will disallow or initiate waterings should they fall outside of the predetermined thresholds. Remember, if you manually turn your irrigation system on or off and want the system to resume watering based on your sensor's readings, be sure to move your slider to the auto position. And for additional spot checking throughout your garden, make sure you pick up one of our handheld water content meters available at your local hydroponics retailer or garden center. And lastly, Smart Bee Controllers always recommends maintaining a clean garden environment. So make sure you clean your water content sensor probes between garden cycles with nothing more than warm, soapy water. Thanks for learning more about the benefits, care, and use of your Smart Bee Controller's water content sensor module. For further questions, make sure to visit the support page on www.smartbeecontrollers.com forward slash support. And happy gardening!